turning 18 in like 20 days. How do you feel about that? I'm pretty excited. A natural feeling for anyone about to enter adulthood. But for Adam Ahmed, that excitement is coupled with anxiety. I plan on going on a grad trip. And like now I don't I have to like think about whether I want to go or not before even like booking tickets because I don't know what's going to happen when I get to the airport. Adam says he hasn't traveled outside of Canada since an incident last summer when he and his family were stopped from boarding a flight home from India. At that time, was anybody able to tell you what the issue was? Other than uh, there was a block from uh, the Canadian uh, border security, um, uh, they could not share any other detail. Maksud Ahmed says his son has been flagged by airport and border security since he was a toddler. He never understood why until he heard about another child named Adam Ahmed who shared his name with a man on a no-fly list. That boy was just six years old. My biggest concern is now when he's turning 18 in a, in a month or this month, yeah. uh, he turns 18 and he needs to travel by himself or wants to do something by himself and we are not there. That's that's what concerns me, like what will he go through? Adam's parents wrote to Ralph Goodale, the Minister of Public Safety. In this letter, he told them they are exploring changes to the passenger protection program to help differentiate between people with the same names. Anyone who's on the list can apply to have their name removed, but that's not an option for Adam, since he's not actually on the list. He just shares his name with someone who is. I can't rely on my father. Like He, he dealt with it last time, so I'll have to learn how to deal with this by myself, and it's something I shouldn't have to deal with anyways. It just ruins the whole, like, fun of the whole like experience of traveling. Now, Minister Goodale's office couldn't give us any information about the actual person on that no-fly list or, in fact, how many Canadians are on that list. They did recommend that anyone who is inadvertently affected by the list provide as much information as possible to the airline when they're booking their flight. Janelle Massa, City News.